I have just built this full stack AI powered social media content generator application. In this application, by simply giving a simple prompt, you can generate a very high quality social media post. Something like this, as you can see, I gave it a very simple prompt and it created this very realistic and high quality social media post with some caption or maybe something like this. This post was also created with a very simple prompt. I also built the database where I'm storing all of these previously generated images. I have built this full stack application using Encore. Encore is probably the easiest and simplest framework to build backend for your full stack application. Applications. For this full stack application that I just built, here is the complete backend that I just built using Encore. That too without writing a single line of code because Encore uses cursor as an AI code editor. And in my backend, you can see I can access all of my API endpoints. Also, I can access all of the traces and all of the API calls that I made. If you are an absolutely beginner or maybe new to full stack development, this video is for you. In this video, I'll give you a complete step-by-step -step guide that how you can build full stack applications with complete backend using Encore. Traditionally, backend development takes a lot of time, but Encore has made everything easier for us. From building backend to creating databases to creating API endpoints and then to deploy your full stack application, all of that will be covered by Encore. So this video is going to be your complete step-by-step -step guide to build full stack applications with Encore.dev as your backend framework. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button. Our goal for this video is to reach 1000 likes. All right, to start using Encore, simply just go to Encore.dev. Encore has two versions. One is TypeScript backend framework and another one is Go backend framework. But in this video, we are going to use TypeScript backend framework. There's a very detailed documentation that we are actually going to follow in this video. And also there are some prerequisites to use Encore. So I'll guide you about all of that from the official documentation of Encore. To access the documentation, simply just go to get started and simply just click on quick start guide and in here it asks us to install Encore CLI but before we do that there are two things that you should have installed already on your computer first one is node.js simply just go to node.js.org slash download simply just go to this page and just download the latest version of node.js the second thing that you need is docker because we'll be running our backend locally on our computer so for that purpose we need to download the desktop version of docker to do that simply just go to docker.com and then you can simply just download this docker desktop if you are using mac download it for mac if you are using windows download it for windows and if you are using linux Linux, download for Linux and once you have downloaded and installed docker just open it on your computer and make sure that you are signed in in docker you can simply just create a free account using Google and after that just make sure that docker is running on your computer it should show this engine running text on the bottom left of your docker interface now once you have installed node.js and docker that means prerequisites are installed now now we can actually carry on with Encore installation on our computer so far what we have done we just opened Encore.dev website we just went to the documentation and then we just installed the two prerequisite softwares that's it that we have done so far next step is to now install the encore cli on our computer to do that this is the command that you need to run on your computer if you are using mac simply just tap on this tab and then copy this command and then run this command on your terminal i'm on windows so i'll just click on this windows tab i'll just copy this command from here then i'll open powershell on my computer then i'll simply just paste this command in here press enter and now it will install Encore on your computer. You can see right now it is installing. It will just take like maybe a couple of minutes to install. So let's just wait for that. So yeah, I have already installed Encore on my computer and you can see the path is set for Encore CLI. I'll just close this PowerShell now. So what we have done now, we have just installed the Encore CLI on our computer. Now we'll be actually creating an Encore app on our computer by running this command. So you can simply just copy this command and now we need to choose a folder where we want to create this this app I have just created this empty folder in my computer I'll just open this folder in my terminal and then I'll just paste the prompt that I just copied in here and core app create that's it I'll just press enter and now it will create an empty app on my computer and now it is actually asking for me to select a language for my application either I can choose go or TypeScript I'll use TypeScript I'll press enter and now it is asking what sort of application I want to build. It will just like build a basic Hello World application or maybe an empty app. So I'll just build like a basic Hello World application. It is now asking me to give a name to this app. I'll just give it a name Encore Tutorial. I'll press enter and now it will just now start creating this application. It will take maximum 
one to two minutes depends on your internet speed but it should be able to now create an empty application for you all right so within just less than a minute it has just created this application for us and now it is asking us to run this application i'll just press y and then press enter and now it is going to run this application for us and now that's it our basic hello world and core application is created and now to make sure that everything is working and everything is functional i can just test this api endpoint so this api endpoint is hello.get so i'll just like click on call api i'll just call this api and you can see this api is called and even in this traces i can see this api was called with hello world so that means our application is set up and our endpoint is working and everything is set up for us uh, so far we have just created an empty backend hello world application in encore next step is now to open this application inside cursor and then based on this basic encore hello world application cursor will build a backend for our idea for our application on top of this encore hello world application so this is cursor cursor is an ai code editor if you have not used cursor before there are a lot of beginner friendly tutorials on my youtube channel you can just watch it from there so simply just download and install cursor on your computer next just open cursor once you have opened cursor this is how it will look like simply just click on open project and now we need to navigate to that folder where we created that basic hello world and core application so this is our directory of our project i'll simply just copy this directory from here i'll go back to cursor i'll paste that directory in here i'll press enter i'll then choose select folder and now our application is opened in cursor now let's just go back to this encore documentation and see what encore ask us to do next next encore ask us to create a dot cursor rules file inside our cursor project and then we are required to copy the content from this file into our dot cursor rules file i'll just go to my cursor project i'll then simply click on this new file button i'll then create a dot cursor rules file in here then i'll simply just click on this file link i'll open that file I'll copy the content of this file simply just copy it from here and then I'll just paste that inside dot cursor rules file then press on save and now we have just updated our cursor rules file and now we are good to start development of our project okay one thing that i want to mention here this ai social media content generator app that i created i created it using an api key from fall.ai so what is fall.ai fall.ai is just a platform where we can access all of these different llms something like image to text image to image image to videos and all of these different large language models we can access on fall.ai i chose this ai model from ideogram that actually create very high quality images with very accurate text so this was actually perfect for my ai social media content generator app you can choose any ai model or you can just like build your own idea using encore the reason why i'm just giving this example i'm just showing you that you can do anything you can build any sort of backend using encore and even like you can use other api keys and whatever you want to do using encore so i'm just like using randomly an api key that doesn't mean that you're restricted to that you're free to use whatever you want to do i'm just like showing you the details stuff best a process that how you can actually build a full stack backend for your project i'll come back to cursor i'll then give it a prompt i'll open my speech to text to give it a prompt how you can open this you can on windows you can open this by pressing windows key plus h key and then this built-in speech to text application will pop up i want to an image to text application using fal ai api key i have set up a project in encore please build a backend for my app okay now what we're gonna do we are just going to provide documentation of that api key from fall.ai so i'll just go back to my fall.ai ideogram page i'll then click on this api key and in here there is a very detailed documentation i'll just copy all of this documentation i'll paste that in here and then i'll mention here is the documentation for fail ai api key that's it once everything is done simply just click on send and now what it will do it will just go through our dot cursor rules file it will follow all of these guidelines from dot cursor rules and then it will build backend for our application cursor agent right now is going through our directory it is reading all of the existing code and then now it has asked us to install this library for file.ai i'll simply just click on run command and now it has just installed this file.ai client after that it is asking to create a new directory i'll just click on next now it is creating some code now it is creating code for that api key now it has finished all of the steps next thing is now it is asking us to run this application before we do that we need to add file.ai api key to do that all we have to do we can simply just run this command 
set this file.iapi key what you have to do you can simply just run this command in here inside your terminal and now it will ask us to enter our file.ai api key to create an api key on file.ai you can simply just go to file.ai slash dashboard then go to api keys section then click on add key you can simply just create an api key in here i have already created one i'll just copy it from here then i'll just paste that api key in here then I'll just press enter and now API key has been successfully added. Next step is now to run our application and test the API endpoints. So I'll just copy this prompt from here and go run. I'll paste that command in my terminal and go run press enter and now our application is running. This is the URL for dashboard. Simply just click on this URL and now it will just open our dashboard in here. Perfect. Awesome. And in here inside API endpoints, simply just click on that. And then you can see there is a generate image. There is an upload file option. There is a text image status option. So I can just test this endpoint, which is generate image. And in here, I need to provide a prompt. So I'll just give it a prompt, maybe a cute cat. I don't know something then just to test this endpoint with this prompt, I'll simply click on call API and there is an error the error in generating image all right so there is an error in i think our api key has not been set properly so i'll just copy this error from here i'll then paste that inside our cursor there's an error on our terminal as well i'll just copy it from here as well paste that. i'll press enter and now apparently it has set this api key now it is just configuring this file.ai api key inside our code so as you can see in core works perfectly fine with cursor.ai all right apparently all of the errors are fixed i'll simply just click on call api and now it should work giving the same prompt which is a acute cat so now it should create an image of a cute cat so as you can see it has generated this image and here is the image url i'll simply just open this image url i'll then go to my link and here it has just created this cute cat image which is awesome i'm not sure if it is cute or not but yeah it looks cute okay so so far we have built backend for our application we have built api endpoints for our backend application and now what we need to do we need to create front end for our application and then we need to call these api endpoints and we need to build a fully functional front end with our backend to do that we are going to use next.js we are going to create a separate directory and then we're going to install next.js inside our project if you have no idea what is next.js this is just a react framework for web development and this is a full stack web development framework that means we can build front end and back end for our applications okay i'm going to create a directory inside our back end project directory i'm going to call that directory front end so i'll just click on this new folder icon and then i'll call this folder front end you can just call it whatever you want but just i'm just going but i'm just going to call it front end and inside this front end now we need to install next.js to do that you can simply just open this directory inside your terminal or you can simply just go to cd and then front end you can do that way as well but i'll just open this directory in my terminal i'll open front end and then i'll right click and open this directory inside my terminal and then i'll install next.js inside this directory to create an empty next.js application you need to just run this command you can just find that on next.js slash docs and then simply just go to installation tab in here and then you can simply just copy this command from here then you can simply just come back to your terminal paste your command in here and then press enter and you can just name it whatever you want then press enter then just choose all of these default options just keep pressing enter and that's it and just like that our next.js application is created in this directory you can see now we have a front-end directory and inside front-end we got encore front-end directory in here and here are all of these next.js application files now to create a front end of our application i've just opened our chat inside cursor i just clicked on this plus icon and now i'm just going to give it this prompt that prompt says now i want to create a front end for this project i have set up a next.js project in path in our project and this is the path which is front end slash and core front end and then please create front end in our next.js project that's it this is the command that I and then i'll simply just press on enter and now it will start creating a next dot front end inside our this directory it will just scan our entire directory and then it will actually start creating front end for our application it has now started writing code okay so now within a couple of minutes it has just finished writing all of the code and now we need to run our application we need to run our back end separately which we are already running which you can run by encore run and now we need to run front end of our application as well but in a separate terminal to do that inside your terminal section you can can simply just press on this 
plus button and now in this new terminal just navigate to this new directory by cd frontend slash and core frontend so you are now in this frontend directory and to run our next .js project you can simply just run npm run dev press enter and now it should start our next .js project so now our next .js project is running and on this terminal our backend is running so i'll just click on this localhost url and it should open our next.js project and here we go here is our beautiful looking landing page here is our generate section and here is our prompt section we can just give it a prompt and see what it creates create a social media post for my luxury brand i want you to show a man on his boat with text written luxury lifestyle that's it i'll just press generate image now and see if it generates that image or not you can now provide like negative prompts you can select to your aspect ratio you can select the style all of that you can select from here but with default settings i'm just going to like generate a simple image and just like that it has created this amazing image it has this text which says luxury lifestyle and i will just go to this history section history option and now you can see all of the previously generated images i can access here so this luxury lifestyle image is here that's just amazing so far we have just created a full stack application we have created a complete backend using encore and then we have created front end for our backend and then we have used all of those api endpoints to generate images for us we are using file.ai api key to create those ai images so so far you have learned how to build full stack applications with complete backend with database and with front-end design in next.js now next step is deployment of this application since we are using encore so encore has encore cloud so we can actually use encore cloud for easiest and simplest deployment again without any cost we can use encore cloud to deploy your application to use encore cloud you can simply just go to encore.cloud and then you can simply just sign up using your google account and in pricing section you can see this is free forever so you can use this free tier or maybe if you just want to use encore cloud for your professional project so you can just upgrade to this pro plan but this is super simple and easy to deploy your applications once you have signed up on encore cloud you can simply just go to your apps and here you can access all of your applications here is our encore test and encore tutorial application i'll simply just open this encore test app. now the best way is i can simply just link my github account i can simply just click on this link to git and now i can just link my project from github with encore cloud now to do that you need to first push your code on github if you don't know how to do that there is a separate video where i have covered that there is this very detailed video on my youtube channel where actually i guide how you can push your code on github you can just follow this video and once you have pushed your code on github simply just click on link app to github and now you can choose your github repository i'll choose this github repository which is social media post generator and core.dev then i'll click on link so now my repository is linked with encore cloud now i'm in deploy section i have just started deploying this application and now the deployment is started and this is how easy and simple it is so this was our detailed step by step video about building full stack applications using encore.dev as your backend framework if you have any questions just leave your questions in comment section and i see you next video bye bye